Hey guys, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Um, thank you so much for tuning by my channel. Um, I just wanted to show you, I'm sitting here on Sunday night and I'm making out my grocery list and my meal plan for the week. So before I show you my groceries, um, I thought I would just go through this list real quick and show you what the plan is and kind of explain my meal plan and my grocery list, how I do it, and then I'll show you my groceries for the week. So I like to plan out Monday through Sunday, and then I put the days that we either have something else going on, maybe I don't have to make dinner or we're going out, but I like to plan the days. Sometimes we're not in the mood for a certain thing, so these are, we can flip them if we want to. I'm not super strict on that, but it does help me to have five or six meals that I know I have all the stuff for. So Monday we usually keep pretty simple because my husband's day off is Monday and so we normally have a bigger lunch. So I thought we would just do some sub sandwiches, some fruit, maybe some tater tots in the oven. Tuesday I usually cook a little bit more because it's one of the only nights where you don't have to be somewhere else. And so I'm going to do my homemade chili. And I normally serve this over... Not over. I serve it in a bowl and then I put, you know, toppings on it like sour cream, cheese, and some Frito chips. Wednesday, I'm going to do, I have this really good recipe I found on Pinterest. Oops, sorry. For tomato soup. And then um, when you serve the tomato soup right at the very end, if you're cooking it, you um, add some tortellini. And so you have a few tortellini in with a bowl of soup. It is so, so good. And we have church Wednesday night and that's a really fast, basically it's condensed soup that you doctor up. So I'm going to make that. I haven't had that in a while. Thursday, we do these burrito bowls. It's basically everything that you would have in a burrito, but in a bowl form. So it'll be like rice and beans, some meat, um, cheese, lettuce, anything like that, avocado. It's really good. Friday, I'm going to do this slow cooked meal. It's a taco chicken. It's basically chicken. Um, taco seasoning, some rotel. You cook it in the crock pot, and then at the very end, you add a little bit of cream cheese, so it's really delicious. We put it over brown rice, and then I'm going to do some oven-roasted green beans that I roast in coconut oil. It's so good. Um, Saturday, I thought we would do breakfast for dinner. That's everyone's favorite. We're going to do some pancakes, some bacon, some scrambled eggs. Um, Sunday, we have a missions banquet at our church, so I don't have to cook. Now, let me show you how I do my um, shopping list. I like to break it up into lists because have you ever started shopping and then you get almost done and realize, oh, I forgot something at produce, and then you have to go all the way back? This way, I can cross things off, and then before I leave the produce section, I will look and make sure everything's crossed off, so I know I'm not forgetting anything. It really saves a lot of time. So I'm going to get some fruit, some green beans to do those roasted green beans, some lettuce. Um, I love avocado. I put tortellini over here because <laughs> at our grocery store, all of that kind of stuff is over by the produce, so if I were to put it somewhere else, I would forget it. So I put that there. Protein is any kind of obvious meat, cheese, dairy, anything like that. Um, deli meat, stuff like that. We definitely need milk. We go through a lot of milk with two toddlers. I'm totally out of creamer. I'm totally out of half and half. And then get some ground beef. We're out of Kraft Singles. I mean, you can't make grilled cheese without Kraft Singles. <laughs> some Parmesan cheese, um, some bacon for that breakfast dinner. And then up here, this usually is a lot, lot longer, but I guess I have a lot of stuff already to make meals. Um, do some sub rolls for the Monday night dinner. Tortillas, my son's favorite meal is a cheese quesadilla. So we go through lots of tortillas. Um, some red beans for my chili, some tomato sauce for the chili, Fritos also for the chili, and tomato soup for that tomato soup meal I was telling you about. Some snacks for lunches, some diet soda for uh, me and my husband. We don't drink a lot, but we do like to have a little bit. Some candy for my girls at church. I teach a class, and so they get candy if they... Um, if they are really good and I bribe them with candy at the end. So I need to get some of that. Frozen wise, um, our store has this really good brown rice and for busy nights, it's really good not to have to make rice. It turns out nice in the microwave. So I'm gonna get some brown rice. We like uh, a lot of breakfast sandwiches and stuff. So I'm gonna get some more of those. We need toilet paper and we need toothpaste for the kids. That is my grocery list and my meal plan. And let me show you what all I, I'm headed to the store in the morning, so the next thing you'll see is my haul from that. Roll it, Jess.
Okay, guys. Hey, this is everything I got at HEB. It is a lot of stuff. I did really well. Um, I go grocery shopping once a week, and so you just saw my meal plan for the week. Let me show you what I got at the store. Um, let's start back here. These are whole milks, both of these. My toddlers both drink whole milk, and so we go through a lot, and so two gallons a week is about right. We have a little bit left over at the end of the week. I got a 1% for me and my husband. My little boy loves yogurt, and so I got an eight pack of yogurt. All of this candy is for my class at church. Um, I bribe them if they're good at the end of class, they each get a piece of candy. So, um, and for like rewards for doing activities, they get a little piece of candy. So, that is to refill my candy box at church. This is like my all time favorite creamer, and I haven't had it in forever. So, um, I got some of this. It's the International Delight Almond Joy. And that was a dollar off this week. This was like a dollar off, almost a dollar off this week too. So I got both of those. Um, half and half because I'm out. My little baby needed diapers. They always need diapers. So I got another pack of those. I got her a special little treat. I got her a new toothbrush. It's Elmo. That's her favorite. And then I have two pairs of tweezers somewhere, but I keep losing them. <laughs> and my eyebrows are terrible. So I got... Um, this and this was marked down and then it was an extra two dollars off so I just got this is regularly like seven dollars and I got it for like three or less probably like two so that's a great deal and then I was like oh, oh, I'm dropping stuff I wasn't planning on buying shampoo because we have shampoo but then I saw they had a big basket I would have gotten more but they um this is the only one of this kind they had this is the herbal essence Chickens. This is the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. Hold on, guys. Let me deal with this issue. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Um, toddler life. <laughs> uh, I saved you from the drama. Um, so anyway, I wasn't planning on buying um, any shampoo, but they had this for $1.50. So, and we really like this. This is over $3 usually. And so $1.50 is a great price. I don't know why it was so cheap today, but I'll take it. Um, these also were over a dollar off and my husband like sees to take to, he, he has to leave for work and it's taking my son to school. So he doesn't have a lot of time for breakfast. And so these have a good bit of protein and, um, they're just convenient for him to take to work. I got these. I'm not going to say it cause she's listening <laughs> for my daughter to have as a treat. Um, every now and then I'll give her a few of those and it really makes her happy. Not all the time, but just a couple here and there. Um, there's the tortellini for that um, soup I was telling you about. The Greek cheese. This is for the chili tomato sauce. And this is also for the chili kidney beans. And I have pinto beans that I made the other night that I saved for the chili. I've never tried stevia. And I hear everybody talking about it. So I thought I would give it a try. I'm, I'm usually a Splenda or Sweet and Low kind of person. And I know that's not very good for you. So I picked up some stevia. I got some lightly salted corn chips for the topping of our chili. I like the HEB brand because they make a lightly salted and it's not so salty like the Fritos. I think Fritos makes a lightly salted too. So, um, My kids love these pouches. This is the apple strawberry banana. Um, we got two things of tomato soup for me to doctor up and put the tortellini in. This is for our burrito bowls. I got just some 80-20 ground beef. This back here is both for lunches and snacks for my kids. I got some Cheez-Its and some animal crackers. Um, that's for their lunches and snacks. This is a big old thing of Parmesan cheese. Um, some strawberries. My kids love and I love strawberries. Um, this is on sale a dollar off and it looks really good. The Tillamook Colby Jack. Um, yum. And of course, like I said, we always like Crafts for grilled cheeses and quesadillas and stuff. So I got a big old pack of that. Some bacon for our dinner for breakfast one night. Um, some bananas. My son's tortillas for his quesadillas. We that's his favorite thing ever. Now these were on sale. They're usually two fifty, but if you bought two, you got a dollar off. So I got some rice crackers, sea salt and pepper, and then these look so good. They're sweet potato. So I got both of those. These are for our sub sandwiches tonight. I don't know if you've ever had these steak rolls. They are literally so soft. I love buying those. They're really good. 
some fresh green beans for dinner one night. Some gala apples. They were on sale for a dollar a pound, which is a great price. Some shredded lettuce. This is my favorite salad right now. It's the chopped sesame Asian. And now it has, what does it say? Now it has kale. It didn't used to have kale, but it's still really, really good. It has almonds, garlic, wontons, cabbage, romaine, kale, carrots, green onions, and dull toasted sesame and ginger vinaigrette. It reminds me a lot of the Panera Asian sesame salad. So if you like that, you'll love this. It's really good. And it's all chopped up really good. I got some more grapes. Staple. This is the brown rice I told you comes in the freezer. We really like this for um, quick dinners to go with to the side or put it on, put it on top of. And this is this is of two portions, so it's perfect. Um, toilet paper, my husband, Coca-Cola Cherry Zero. He really likes the um, Diet Dr. Pepper with cherry, but they were out of that, so I got him this. And then I got a two liter of Diet Coke. Let me show you the total. I still have to go back and get my kids French toast at Walmart because they didn't have it. And there was something else. Oh, their toothpaste. Um, they are very specific about the kind of toothpaste they like. So, um, yeah, we have to go back to Walmart then and get that. But the total was $121.29. It says I saved $12.66. So, all in all, I think that's pretty good for this big, massive haul. So, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next week.